was a, a real, again, another important change in my career where I really was able to now understand how to challenge my athletes. And I think for, for all of you coaches out there, I think there's a wonderful opportunity for you to take advantage of the pathways that our provincial and, and national sport organizations offer to build those relationships, to be have access to those coaches. Uh, I will, uh, this year, when we, uh, we run our junior national team program, our cadet national team program, more than welcome if you follow on the website when our uh, training camp opens up, whether it's at Ryerson or another local school here in, in the city, you're more than welcome to come out to any training camp and watch what we do. Um, my email is on the website at Ryerson. Just email me or show up. Our practices are open to all coaches at any time. We never have a closed practice at Ryerson. So anytime you want to come out and share some knowledge and watch, we'd be more than willing to kind of help and uh, help you grow or share some knowledge and hopefully I can pick up some knowledge from you guys as well. Uh, just quickly, is there any questions? Because I know you guys, have, it's been a long day, I don't want to ramble on forever, but um, anything that anybody's curious about with uh, my own story or maybe the pathway, I'll gladly try to answer anything that anybody has right now. Question up top, coach. My, you know, I've just really, this is my third season at Ryerson, so, I mean, my goal right now is, uh, you know, I think we're a little bit ahead of schedule, getting to a national championship with a young team. Uh, my goal to come here was to build a program of national relevance, and, and I think we're, we're slowly getting there. I, I'm in no, you know, I have young children, I have a, I'm very, very happy where I am. I love the city of Toronto. So right now, I'm just going to ride this out and, and, and take it as far as it can go, and, and I'm, I'm very happy with what I'm doing right now. Uh, great question. How do, how do you manage to keep top talent here in Canada without going down to the U.S.? I mean, it, it's, it's not easy, right? You, you really have to sell a vision. You really have to sell a dream. You have to un make athletes understand that, that in our league, there are certain advantages. The NCAA is, is, is all rules. You know, the amount of time a coach can spend on the floor with you is dictated by the NCAA. So for us, the developmental opportunity can sometimes supersede the experience that they're going to get south. Now, I'd be, a, I'd be lying to tell you that, you know, we went to Stanford this year and played at, at, at Stanford in October. It was an unbelievable experience. So if you're a high major athlete and you're going to get that experience and play on national TV every weekend, well, we can't compete with that right now. But if you're going to go to Stony Brook or Binghamton, uh, you know, you need to think about that. So, you know, we have a young man, Aaron Betts, who had a number of different uh, Division One opportunities and decided to stay home. Well, you know what? We played in the biggest game of his career at this level. He played 35 minutes and had 26 on Friday night against Lakehead. That's not probably not happening down south. So sometimes it's really about opportunity. And what we're seeing is many more players coming out of our league are ending up in Europe playing professionally. We've now we've got you know a great Canadian pro league that's starting as well. There's going to be opportunities for them to play in that league. So the sport is growing, and I think for 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 athletes they've got to be able to make a decision of like one, you know, where is the opportunity, but probably more importantly. You know, where is the best academic fit? Because at the end of the day, you're going to come out with a degree and most of them are not going to play professionally. Well, I mean, full scholarships, I don't know, but there is money, right? I mean, there is, in Ontario, you can get $4,000 if you're, if you're an 80% student. So I think there's a lack of education on really what the opportunities are. For the most part, even in Ontario and across the country, your tuition can be taken care of. So there is an opportunity for an athlete to get financial support here in Canada as well. Any other questions for Coach? Thanks, Let's guys. hear for Coach Rana. Appreciate it. No, stay, stay up here for real quick because I think in, in this, by coming out here today, I think it shows your passion as well. Knowledge is certainly the key, as you talked about, and we've had the opportunity uh, to get to know one another. Um, he is, you know, Coach Rana is a phenomenal basketball coach, and, you know, one of the great things about this game of basketball is that it's continuing to grow, and I see it in my four short years here, but it's no coincidence that this year in the NBA that two young men for the first time ever from Canada were
decision in the first round. You look at the Toronto Raptors and when they came here in 1995 to now, and when these kids were just three, four years of age, they got to see it, right, as players. And you talk to uh, Leo Routens, who said, you know, as a kid growing up, you know, I looked at Buffalo. I, I, I couldn't necessarily, you know, see it and feel it and touch it and know that these are obtainable goals. As much as it is a trickle down, it's a build up. And Coach Rand is a phenomenal example of building that foundation. It starts with you, the coaches, the impact that you have on everyone's life that you touch. It's greater than you realize. I was coached, I look back on a daily basis and think about all my coaches. I have three young boys, 12, 10, and soon to be eight. And I look at their coaches, I look at them and the impacts that they're having just at the age of seven and eight and 10 and 12. And so what you guys are doing uh, is really appreciated. And you have the future right there in your hands. So thank you for devoting your time. And I, I wanna thank Coach Rana as well as the rest of Canada Basketball for coming out here today. And thank, thank you, all right? Coach, thank you so much, I really appreciate it. And all the best in Halifax. You know who we're rooting for.